down from Everett to Capitol Hill, and I was pretty stoked for the first time to move into the city. And uh, a lot of my friends gave me this look, and they said, um, you know, it's really uh, colorful up there. And, uh, it only took me a day to realize what they meant, and I was like, this is cool, but you should have just said it's really gay up there. Uh, it's far easier to say. But uh, So I live on uh, Summit Avenue, conveniently named. It's in the middle of the hill. Uh, not even close to the top, but uh, I immediately, uh, immediately uh, started looking for a teriyaki, uh, excuse me, teriyaki restaurant, and um, I found this great little, you know, Asian hole-in-the-wall restaurant, and a uh, big old sign said teriyaki on it. Teriyaki was literally spelled wrong, and it was at that point that I realized that uh, if you can't speak good English, you probably make delicious food. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the only thing that worried me was after I left the building, there was a little flyer, and side of the building there, and it, uh, it's from a little girl looking for a lost puppy. And uh, it was at that moment that I realized I'd probably just ate part of a dog. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not an asshole or anything, but I felt compelled to call this girl and, you know, let her know the fate of her poor little puppy. Because, I mean, who knows, maybe she believed in reincarnation and I could, you know, reassemble it in my colon. So... <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, a lot of, a lot of weird things on Capitol Hill. Uh, a lot of unicycle riders up there. Um, unicycles are, uh, are, are cool because uh, the people riding them are having a good time just riding, right? And the people not riding are having fun, making fun of the people riding unicycles. It's fun for everyone. So, uh, yeah, let me tell you, the transition from uh, Everett to Capitol Hill is intense. It's, uh, it's like going from being strapped to owning a strap-on. So, um, Who's played uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? Anybody? Yeah. Like that yeah. Awesome, awesome game. I got it for, uh, for Christmas from an ex-girlfriend. Burn in hell. She knows who she is. Um, this, uh, this game is so realistic and lifelike. Um, no joke, you can actually apply for VA benefits after playing it. <laughs> no joke. I'm not even going to lie about this. Um, but yeah, everyone's, you know, people have been telling me, they're like, yo, you know, Josiah, you know, it's, this game is so realistic, you know, it's, but I mean, I've been to Iraq, and you know, I've killed people, and I'm like, well, so have I, on the video game. And then, and then they're like, yeah, but like, I've got injuries from overseas, and I'm like, yeah, well, so have I, you know, my thumbs hurt from busting out a freaking health boost machine gun reload on the damn controller. So, um, yeah, I, I feel as if I deserve a medal or something for beating the game, so, whatever. Thank you guys for your time. Yeah.